physical exfoliators that don't scratch your skin open. We have been traumatized by the walnut scrubs and the apricot scrubs, and yes, I have personally used them and been deceived by them. But I do have to admit, there is something about a little scrub scrubby on your face that does make you feel really good. I grew up struggling with severe and chronic cystic acne, as you probably know if you've been here for any amount of time, and if not, welcome, join the cult, I, I mean, community. But if you remember back, like, the scrubs is like all we were recommended as acne prone teens. We had the Neutrogena, you know, acne scrub. We had the Good Morning Burst Bubbles, and even that thing had like tiny little scrubbies. And although there are many wonderful chemical exfoliants, there is something to be said about that physical feeling that we love to get on our face. But if we want that physical exfoliation and that feeling, but not the rip off your epidermis as if your skincare was sandpaper, what are we supposed to do? Well, I have got options for you, and these are my favorite physical exfoliators that yes, are physical, but that don't have the walnut scrubs or the apricot scrubs that we can go way too hard with and that have the potential of causing micro tears in our faces. <laughs> Let's start off with this one from Peach and Lily, which is a KP Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrub. And can I just say, I'm a lily today. Look at me. Actually, is this a lily? What kind of a what kind of a flower is this? Lila. This isn't mine. I'm borrowing it. We're just gonna call it a lily. I don't know my flowers, okay? We are partnering with Peach and Lily on a portion of today's video, but they have many different products for all sorts of skin conditions, but this one is a KP body scrub. It's relatively new, and oh my God, this is a body scrub that not only has our physical exfoliators, but it also combines AHAs and PHAs, those alpha hydroxy acids and polyhydroxy acids at 10%. So this you can think of as like a blend of chemical and physical exfoliation. The chemical exfoliation helps you get a lot more of an even, you know, kind of scrubby dub dub. Whereas the physical gives me that sensation that I love and look for that actually makes me feel like I am, you know, having a sensorial experience with my skincare. And my KP normally happens on the backs of my arms and a little bit on my legs as well. This is what I have been using. And again, it actually has this actual physical grit to it that is not from walnut shells or apricot pits. The main ingredient in here is glycerin. So it is a humectant and more hydrating to the skin. We then have our glycolic acid, which we love. You know, it's derived from sugarcane. It's the smallest AHA. And so it helps to exfoliate the skin cells and the actual desmosomes, the little things, the little bridges or nails that kind of hold your skin together and helps those top layers of the skin exfoliate off. It's then got steric acid, but then it's got hydrated silica. And this hydrated silica is what can be used in these kind of ball-like formations, but it's much more rounded on the edges. If you compare hydrated silica to something like a walnut scrub, the walnut scrub has these edgy, jagged pieces, whereas the silica is actually quite smooth. And this means that you're getting a scrub feel, but it's gentle as opposed to tear up your skin scratchy scratchy. This also has cellulose, which you might know as your plant fiber, but this can also kind of ball up and gum up on the skin. And then this is fragrance free, but they do have other ingredients in here, such as lactic acid or such as apple or even grape and mistletoe. And I don't know what this mistletoe ferment extract is doing, uh, but it's very, very interesting and it is very intriguing. And when I use this, it really helps with the exfoliation. It gives me that scrub without the strip. And this this is made for the body. Again, it's specifically made for KP, this kind of chicken skin or these sugar bumps that people often get. And unfortunately, KP is often coupled with dryness or even eczema. And so you should look for something that is actually hydrating or has ingredients like glycerin or hyaluronic acid that can help to be a little bit more of a humectant to the skin. And there are other exfoliators such as beta hydroxy acids, but beta hydroxy acids are oil soluble. Alpha hydroxy acids are water soluble and they actually hold on to water a little bit more readily. And they can even pull that into the skin. This also has papaya as uh, enzymes, basically papian, which is another really gentle sort of chemical exfoliant. So you're getting the gentle exfoliation, you're getting the hydration without the strip, and you're getting it without the walnut seed grit. This comes in a pink bottle, like some other pink bottle walnut scrubs, but obviously, uh, for multiple reasons and ingredients, I recommend this way more than the freaking other walnut scrubs that are out there that look like sausage poops. Just looks like that bottle just pooped out a sausage. Like that is not, that is not going to make me want to buy your product. Hello. <laughs> Again, it's a pleasure to partner with Peach and Lily on a portion of this and on the science behind this, but what if you don't have KP or you're not looking for a body scrub? What if you want something for the face? This Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant is something that most people get wrong. And this is such an interesting product. So similar to the Peach and Lily, this microfoliant is actually a combination. We have a physical as well as chemical exfoliants in here. This has monocrystalline cellulose and magnesium oxide as main ingredients 
ingredients, but we've also got rice in here. And what's really great about rice, specifically rice starch, is that unlike the apricot or walnut scrubs, again, it doesn't have those jagged edges. And if you've ever cooked rice, you know that it helps to absorb water. And it actually can become a little bit soft, especially when you're using tiny particles of it. This is a really gentle option for the skin, but it also contains some chemical exfoliants. We have papian and salicylic acid. Again, papian from papayas, it's a nice enzyme uh, sort of exfoliant. And then you also have salicylic acid, that BHA, which is oil soluble. Now this also has tea tree, this has licorice if you're prone to a little bit of hyperpigmentation. And I really love this, but again, most people use this wrong. People put this powder in their hand and then they put it in the water and they're like, ooh, it's grainy, it's weird on my face. Yes, because that's not how you should use it. Please don't put this directly on your face with water because it will feel like you are rubbing baking soda into your pores. You're supposed to use this, dump a little bit out and then actually fluff it up with water with your hand or with some sort of a brush or a whisk. This actually turns into like a fluffy egg white texture consistency, which is hilarious that I say fluffed egg whites because I am a vegan, but I do have chickens. Fun fact, but I've never eaten their eggs. If you didn't know, now you know. Anyways, fluff this up, buttercup. And once it has that consistency, that's when you apply it to the face. It is super gentle, it exfoliates nicely, it gives you that little bit of scrub feeling that you need, but I actually find this to be one of the more gentle exfoliants, especially because those particles are so tiny and they are made of rice. This one's a little bit more expensive and I do love this, uh, but there are less expensive options. This one is the Green Tea Enzyme Powder Face Wash from Wish Trend. I actually got this in my little K-Beauty Isen-Isen-Isen-Tree-Sicket-Isen-Influencensen kit. I tried. This is a good one, and it does have these papaya enzymes as well, but it's important to point out that the very first ingredient is baking soda. I and mean, that could be too stripping for some people's skin. I would only recommend this if you have oily prone skin at this point, and then you would still wanna make sure that you are neutralizing, you know, baking soda is a little bit more alkaline, so you wanna use something like an acidic toner or serum afterwards just to make sure that your acid mantle um, or this basically lipid barrier that your skin has is intact, and your skin naturally likes to be a little bit more acidic. So use this one with a little bit of caution. This is a K-Beauty option. It is good, but it is not for the faint of heart. And speaking of K-Beauty, I do have to give credit where credit is due. You know that I do not like these products. I do not like the marketing behind them. I don't like how people recommend these, these stupid peeling gels. But again, we have to give credit where credit is due. And if you are looking for a really gentle exfoliant, um, you know, that doesn't strip at or scratch at the skin, uh, but that is physical, these peeling gels might be good for you. I got this one at Sephora, it's from the Wishful One. I got this one off of Amazon, the Ultimate Brightening Peeling Gel, as well as this one, the Wander Black Rice and Soft Peeling Gel. But here's the thing, all of these stupid brands sit here and they're like, oh, it's your dead skin cells coming off. Look at how dirty you are, you filthy homo sapien. And it's like, no, that is not your skin coming off. That is the product balling up on itself. Like we have shown these being used over gloves where there is no skin cell contact and the product as it evaporates literally balls up on itself. It's because of the cellulose and the alcohol that evaporates in here and the other ingredients. And it is not your dead skin cells coming off in sloughs. You are not a dirty, filthy human. I mean, you maybe are, but, but it's not, you know, going to be fixed by this product. But yes, it does take pieces of your dead skin Skin along with it. If you have like the most sensitive, irritant prone skin in the entire world and you cannot do physical exfoliants but you want to, this is probably going to be the closest thing that you can do. There are different ones, there's a ton of them out there. The Yo Glow, this one has enzymes as well as being a little scrubby dub dub. This one is halfway decent from Haru Haru Wonder. This has um, black rice in here and a bunch of antioxidants. Uh, this one was just cheap. <laughs> I got this on Amazon because of TikTok. Yeah, it's got willow bark extract, licorice root, mushroom, tomato. It's it's not terrible, but I mean, it's a peeling gel. It's not your face coming off, it's the product, but yeah. And you know, these can help to exfoliate. Uh, any exfoliation can help unclog pores, make the skin look brighter, etc. But if you're really, really looking for skin brightening, this one is an oldie, but a goodie. I had to dig this out the back of my skincare troves, like my drawer. I'm pretty sure this is very far expired and I don't know why I'm still holding on to it, but it's because I'm a skincare hoarder and don't judge me because I'm not judging you. Maybe I am. You don't know, but <laughs> Well, there's that. No, I'm just kidding. We don't judge people. We judge people's choices. It's different, okay? As I was saying, this is the Body Mary Vitamin C, 10% uh, vitamin C with jojoba beads, and I 
fucking love this. This is technically a cleanser, but this is a really beautiful exfoliating cleanser that does have vitamin C. So if you're prone to hyperpigmentation, to dark marks and spots, or if you're just looking for something that makes your skin really glow, this is going to be it. Now the beads that they have in here are totally different. These are jojoba esters. So actual like basically little beads made of jojoba oil. I mean, not exactly the same, but think of it that way, right? And what's amazing about it is that they're completely biodegradable. So unlike, you know, walnut shells or unlike those micro beads, which are horrible and found in all of the Neutrogena freaking products, or maybe they took them out. I think they took them out. But micro beads were horrible for the environment. Fish were eating them. Bigger fish were eating the little fish. People started eating the fish and finding it in their sushi. And that's when they got mad and started to raise hell about it. So the micro beads are gone, but the best alternative to micro beads that is actually totally fine for the environment are jojoba beads or jojoba esters. This has just that, as well as the vitamin C. This is super gentle, and if you look at jojoba esters under the microscope, you can actually see that they have really rounded edges. Now, this does have quite a few different plant ingredients. We've got lavender, we've got olive, we've got oregano, cucumber, horsetail, and you know, if you are sensitive to plant actives, this is not going to be for you. But if your skin is relatively resilient, oh my god, that is so crusty. Cassandra, that is so crusty. Anyways, might not be the best for the super, super sensitive, but if you want something with a little bit of a glow and a slight exfoliation and that feeling without the strip or the rip. This is gonna be it. Another good option for the face that is a little bit more intense is this one from May Love. This is amazing. It is the exfoliator. It is a BHA and clay facial scrub. And if you struggle with oiliness, this is phenomenal. The clays in here actually help to wick away oil. This is a wet formula, but you can actually kind of use it as a mask and then exfoliate it off. And the exfoliant in here is actually sugar, so sucrose. Now, do be careful because sucrose can be a little bit jagged as well. You're not gonna wanna rub too hard. When you're using this, you really wanna let the water do the work and actually help dissolve that for you. And sugar is great because it can actually act as a humectant. It can kind of hold on to and bind water close to it, which is lovely. And this one also has cellulose acetate, which can also kind of help to bind things up a little bit on the skin. Um, and as mentioned, it does have that BHA, so that beta hydroxy acid. So you've got clay, you've got your salicylic acid for exfoliation chemically, and then you've got a little bit of physical exfoliation. So you get that feel, but without all the strip. I would say out of all of the products, this is probably the most intense. And again, I would recommend recommend this mainly for more oily skin types, or this would be the most intense like chemical ingredient wise, and then this would be the most intense like physical scrub wise, if that makes sense. But this still is a really good one that I do recommend, and it is definitely in my top 10. And if you are looking for another option for the body, there is this one from Dr. Sandra Lee, MD. This is really great for eczema. This is the glycolic acid body scrub. This works great on the knees. This works great on the elbows. This does work great on the body pretty much anywhere. And this is wonderful because it is a combination of glycolic acid and physical scrub. The main difference between these two is that this one is artificial fragrance free, even though it does have some other extracts, whereas this one does have fragrance. And so it is really up to you uh, what is best and what is going to fit your routine the best. Also the accessibility, you know, it depends on which retailer that you're looking to get these from. And if you're international, you know, does that retailer ship or is that something that is affordable and accessible to you? But if you are looking for something with glycolic and lactic acid, this is a good option. And again, for people who have that skin that just over renews itself a little bit too quickly. This helps to exfoliate that off without overly irritating. The exfoliant in here is the sorbitol, so a type of sugar. And again, that's another reason why it's different. And I would say that this one is a little bit more scratchy and intense. That's why I love this on the feet, the ankles, you know, more of the body. And whereas I would use this on my face, I would not use this one on my face. But it is great if you are struggling with some of those issues and want a little bit of a thicker exfoliant. So when it comes down to it, scrubs have a place in my heart. And yes, my pores, as long as we are not talking walnut scrubs, and St. Ives, like when will these things just stop? Like I am waiting. <laughs> and if you wanna get a little bit more skin science-y, we can definitely do deep dives, like microscope deep dives in a bit more, but you just need to tell me by liking this video or sharing it with a friend. That actually tells me that you enjoy this content and that you want more of it. And if you appreciate us breaking down the biology of our beauty, the chemistry of our cosmetics and the science of our skincare, you are in the right place, my fellow skin intellectuals. Make sure that that like button is hit and always make sure that you are staying high hydrated, reapplying your SPF, and be beautiful both inside and out, even if that means that you become a flower. Look at me, I am a flower. I am a flower. I am a flower. Oh, so floral. I am a flower. Okay, I will see you and the gloriousness of whatever the heck you are in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.